Okay, let's talk about syllabication. Now, whenever we do the live class and I mention syllabication, it's, it's about split. Half the teachers are like, oh no, syllabication. And the other half the teachers are like, syllaba who? Syllaba what? <laughs> what are you talking about? So uh, I want to include this in the class, and I think that this is, uh, this is going to be a good review for the teachers out there that are familiar with syllabication, and this is also going to be something that's very important for teachers that have never heard this before. But when we think about syllabication, I, I have a definition here, uh, but we're going to think about the strategies we can use to uh, break up a word into its syllables. Let me read the actual definition to you. As it says here, syllabication is the process of forming or dividing words into syllables. Um, and let, let me pause there for a moment. So we're going to be using these rules to break up multi-syllable words. That's the key here. You use syllabication to uh, divide a multi-syllable word into, go, to, into decodable chunks or into syllables. And then from there, the student uses their awareness of syllable types to decode those individual syllables to decode the word. Now, um, there are only a couple of really important syllabication rules that we're gonna do that you need to know that you're gonna see on your test. And there's also gonna be the syllable types. And we've already referenced these several times, but uh, we should take a look at this real quick when we talk about syllable types and that phonics progression, okay? So we have open syllables and closed syllables and controlled R syllables. So we want to take a closer look at this. So this is really important to have an awareness of the different types of syllable patterns that are out there because it's going to help you diagnose where the student is having difficulty in the decoding process. So this is important stuff. 